going on there, friends? My name is M2 Gates, and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa for the PC. In the last episode, uh, we found out that very unfortunate things has happened to Sakura, and now we are investigating uh, who could be the culprit behind killing Sakura this time. So, we gotta go ahead and look for that. Uh, right, what we know is that there is a 0% possibility that it could have been me, Hina, or Kyoko. So which means that the only other people behind this would have to be either Byakuya, Hiro, or Toko. Byakuya has claimed that he has never seen Sakura. So that's two more people that we gotta go see, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and find where the heck Hiro and Toko both went. Um, which, um, I guess since the game spawned me over here, I, I guess I have to go see if they're in their rooms, probably? So let's go ahead and see if they're in their rooms. Let's see. Let's see what. Let's see if Hero's in here. Ding dong. You know. What's up, Makoto? Did you need something? Yes, I do. Yeah, actually, I just wanted to check something. It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. How'd you know about that? Did you maybe gaze into my soul? Have your special abilities awakened in you? But I'm not the only one who uh, she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Byakuya and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Oh, well... When she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, uh, a note. She, uh... She gave it to me in person. She happened to mention the others, like, in passing. That is very suspicious. No way, I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Actually... The last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I t uh, took her to the nurse's office. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, could you show me the note she gave you? Um, oh, um, I still have it. Let's see. Hero was feeling around in his pocket. Ah, oh, sorry. Looks like I don't have it anymore. That's... Yeah, okay. But when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Oh, you lied! What? Quick as the rin, Hero, Hero snatched, it, snatched it back up again. Shoved it back in his pocket. Hey, come on. Just a bit of trash, I forgot to throw out. Trash? What? I can't deny that Ogre asked, asked to meet with, with me, but I never went. So, well, if you excuse me, before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero, Hero said that was just trash, but there's no way that's all there, there was to it. Okay, I want to know what that said. Okay. How about Toko? We're gonna go see what Toko has to say about this. Since Toko's the other person that uh, would know about this. Ding dong! Huh? Who's there? The most negative aura I've ever felt. An aura of total well, decay. What do you want? So you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good mood. Hey, I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? Obviously annoyed, Toko uh, slithered out into the hall. You said you want to talk to me about something. Yes. I want to talk about the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. Well. I don't know what you're talking about. Byakuya already told me she had asked to uh, she she had asked to meet with him. She wanted to meet with Master 2. I just said 2, didn't I? Yep, you did. So, what 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 happened? What's your perspective on this? Yeah, pretty much, so can you tell me about it? I admit it, I did get the note, but I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Okay, all three of them said they didn't go see her. Obviously, at least one of these guys are lying. Well, until I can prove, I, I, I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept that as fact. Is that good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Okay. 
I'll definitely have to uh, have to look at the actual crime scene again. But on top of that, maybe I could I should find out more about the protein can we found we found on the on the floor in the rec room. I'm sure it has it, it must have come from the chem lab. So where should I start? Obviously the chem lab, right? So let's go. Okay, yeah. All all three of them are suspicious. All three of them claim that they've never went to see Sakura. So, I mean, obviously, obviously there's some suspicion going on with all three of them. Um, like at first, I wasn't gonna suspect Byakuya, cause like we were the because he was the first to say that he didn't go see Sakura, and he said he tore the note and and whatnot. And then I went to go see Hiro, he also claimed that he's never seen Sakura. Okay, so then Toko had to be the only person, right? She also claimed that she'd never seen Sakura. So, now all three claim that they've never seen Sakura, which means one of them... One of them... Well, that, that means, at, at, like, either all three of them are lying, one of them is lying, or two of them are lying. So, you know, what the heck? Why Why did all three of them say that they didn't, they didn't go see her? Is it, is it because they know that they went to see her and that they don't want us to pin the crime on them? Or what? Like, that's, uh... Th these are these are like some things that, that take quite a bit of observation in order to uh, make this next class trial uh, go well, I think. Okay, so where's the chem lab? That's the uh, that's the data lab, so we can't be in there. Er, so we can't go in there. Uh, that's the office. That's Monokuma's room. Where is the chem lab? It is in the floor for sure. Uh, is it this? No, not there. Huh? Where could it be? Did I lose it? Did I just like pass it or something? I think I might pass it. Yeah, that's the music room. Oh man, I have not memorized the floor. That's unfortunate. Data lab. Hmm. Oh, I must have passed it. Where'd it go? It's definitely in this room for sure. Oh, it's right here. Okay, okay. What? Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just make sure you you, you don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. I think what you meant to say was yes, sir. I understand. Wait, 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 what is that? This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It looks like three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shell. But more important right now, what's that powder that's been spilling the, uh, in front of the shell? I have to be careful not to step on it. There's footprints. And they're only in front of the shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We may need to sketch out a, a sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer. With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go. Chop, chop. So I got to work, and before long, I drew up the sketch of the room. So how's this? Not bad for you, I mean. I see. So when you look at the so when you look at it like this, this is interesting. It would appear that whoever left those footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went to the to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be it's certainly possible. Mine? Why would they be mine? Uh, okay? Hmm. Your feet do appear to be too big. Okay, so there's no way those are my footprints then. Why is it unfortunately? Are you, are you actually trying to kill me? Or get me killed? Hmm. Wait, but then we don't know everybody's shoe size. What are they doing in the- what- what did the killer do in the leftmost shelf? Can I check the leftmost shelf? What's on this shelf? 
These are all kind. There are all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room probably came from this shelf. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I can consider this part of the of the shelf unit unit section A. Well, it says it says A on the uh, shelf right there. There is one bottle here that's labeled Chem C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? Okay. Is if, it's, if it's a C9, that means it must have come from the C section here. One look, and I can tell it's nothing but dangerous chemicals. Okay, so... Alright. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with the letter C and a number. So I, I guess I can consider this part of the shelf unit C. Okay, but then there's a C uh, unit, or there's a C uh, can in here. So on this shelf is a bunch of chemicals that have that I have no idea what they are. Hmm. They're reagents, but put simply, they're used in experiments to bring out uh, bring about a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It must be truly a bliss. What? Well, you think studying science and mathematics have no practical application in the real world? The world, the words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you well. That has nothing to do with that, but sure. All the containers on the shelf are labeled, are labeled with the letter B and a number, so I guess I consider this part of the shel shelving unit, section B. What? There is something out of the ordinary. There's a C thing in the in the A shell. It looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary supplements. Section B has regents, and uh, section C has lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the uh, protein powder from section A. But what concerns me is that in section A there was a bottle with a label from section C. What was a bottle poison from Section C doing in Section A? There's definitely something going on there. Oh, okay. So I I get it. Uh, so what I what I can understand is, uh, the person attempting to kill Sakura grabbed or put a C chemical in the A shelf where it has all the proteins in shelf A, and Sakura did not see that. Uh, the chemical that that whatever she grabbed came from the C section, um, and like took some proteins from that. Um, well, took whatever was supposed to be proteins, which poisoned her, and then she died. Is that is that is that what it is? That has to be it. it looks like there is a broken bottle in front of the shelf. Is this where all the powder came from? It looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would you like to hear something hear something interesting? I was on the fourth floor this morning, checking things out, and at that point this room wasn't like this. Okay. Then this powder must have been so spilled. That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. If that really is w when it happened, it must be related to the case somehow. Okay. Source of the powder. Oh man, this is tricky. Is that everything? There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. Yeah, I better not leave a footprint. I should probably take a good look at uh, a good hard look at the powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor in front of the shelf. There's also the remains of a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was related was, was labeled uh, Chem C4. Also, it looks like someone left some footprints in, the, in on the powder. Based on the, the positioning of the prints, whoever, le uh, whoever it was only went to the left side of the shell. According to Byakuya, the powder would had to have been spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now. Okay. I've already taken a good look at the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look around uh, the rec room. Okay. See. 
Makoto, I admit you have a good eye for spotting useful clues, but you also need to learn how to make use of those clues. I have been doing that for the past uh, 